Well, it's day two of the 2023 World Championships in Fukuoka, Japan, and things are already heating up. On day one, we saw Australian Kaylee McEwen, the defending silver medalist in the 200 IM, get disqualified for an illegal back-to-breast turn, going past vertical when she reached over on her backstroke turn like this. Hopefully that didn't totally screw up my audio. We also saw Sarah Franceschi of Italy get DQ'd for the same thing in that same heat, Katie Shanahan was also DQ'd in that same heat, three DQs, one heat, but she was called for a false start, not an illegal back to breast turn. Today, Australia issued a statement calling the DQ unjust. And although Australian national team coach Rohan Taylor said that he completely disagreed with the call on McEwen, Swimming Australia called the move unjust because they claimed that Alex Walsh of the USA, right next to Kayla McEwen, also did an illegal back to breast turn in the semifinal and should have been called for the same reason. This is a very serious inconsistency that has been present in swimming for quite a while. Now FINA or World Aquatics did admit that this call was not initiated by a referee seeing it happen in real time, but by going back to the video analysis and looking at it there. Herein lies the problem. If they're going back to a video analysis and looking at Kaylee McEwen, but not Alex Walsh, then that's just unfair to all competitors. We saw this problem coming up at US trials when people were getting DQ'd via video analysis in breaststroke events, including the 400 IM and the 100 breast. The inconsistencies that the athletes were upset about was that this hadn't been implemented at any meets during the season until the US trials, so no one knew what to expect. It was also brought up that Alex Walsh's back to breast turn in the final of the 200 IM, where she went on to win a silver medal, was also questionable and could very well have been considered past vertical. Once again, the rule is that when you are touching on backstroke and transitioning to breaststroke in a medley race, you must stay on your back until your hand touches the wall, meaning that you cannot roll past 90 degrees onto your stomach until you touch that wall to initiate the back to breast turn. If we take a look at all three of these touches, we can see that in real time, McEwen's was probably the most obvious because she initiated the turn so early, but her hips at least were still sort of vertical and on screen capture, hers looks less egregious than those of Walsh. When we take a look at Walsh's semifinal, to me, it looks like it could go either way. It looks like the moment she touched, she was pretty much vertical. Again, I could see it going either way. Now in the final, you can see that when she touches, it does look more like she was past vertical when she touched on this back to breaststroke turn. Again, the judges didn't see it by eye, so they didn't call it, which honestly happens a lot in swimming but they also didn't go back and video review it like they did with Kaylee McEwen. Why? We don't know because there is very little transparency when it comes to the powers that be calling disqualifications, which is problem number one. We need transparency. We need to be able to see the footage that referees use so that we can judge it for ourselves and actually know what's going on in our sport. Problem number two is the back to breast turn itself. If this is causing so many problems and there's so much inconsistency with this back to breast turn, which let's admit it, there is, then let's just get rid of it. Why can't competitors just do a backstroke flip turn to go from backstroke to breaststroke? Or if they wanna touch on their back, do that too. But obviously this rule isn't working in that it can't be officiated on a consistent basis. So I'm calling for the back to breast turn to get nixed. Make it illegal, make a backstroke flip turn legal, whatever you do, get this rule out of here so we can have an even playing field in the medley events. How do you propose we solve this problem of the back to breaststroke turn? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. That really helps us out. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of our videos throughout these 2023 World Championships. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time.